Denver. Or Halifax Needham. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Business. Yesterday, when I asked the Minister of Housing about regulations for short-term rentals, he responded that Nova Scotia has finally signed a bilateral housing agreement which will unfold over the next decade, but that does not address the impact that short-term <coughs> rentals are having on the housing market today. Mr. Speaker, can the Minister please tell Nova Scotians when they can expect regulations to control the impact of short-term rentals on the housing market? The Honourable Minister of Business. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, um, and I thank the member for the question. Uh, the, the, the actual regulations around the Airbnb, the short-term rental legislation, uh, will be in place by this tourism season upcoming, um, so that's uh, of 2020. So obviously um, uh, there is a, an impetus and a, and a requirement for us to have those in place. Uh, working with my colleague at Municipal Affairs, the minister uh, has been great in consulting municipalities, stakeholders around uh, where we're going to go with those regulations and exactly uh, what the, the stakeholders need at tie-ins in the municipalities uh, and, and all of those that will be impacted. Uh, again, Mr. Speaker, as I said around this question, uh, the, the key part of the key for this, this uh, regulatory piece and the registration system that we'll have for short-term rentals is that we have the, the exact data, the information, the understanding of how this will impact the housing stock, whether that be for short-term rentals, whether that be for affordable housing and, and, the, and the housing stock that's available in Metro, in Cape Breton, and all regions of the province. So that data is important, Mr. Speaker, and it will be ready and up and running by this spring. The Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Mr. Speaker, if the minister would like to personally visit some data points, I could walk him around my neighbourhood. I would like to ask how the, the bilateral agreement is addressing this issue, and, and this question is for the Minister of Housing. No doubt, it's a good, a good, no doubt it is good news that the province has signed a bilateral agreement and the first three-year action plan. However, in the consultation with municipalities, they identified that Airbnb and the sharing economy are common barriers to affordable housing, and the action plan does not address this barrier. Will the Minister of Housing acknowledge that one of the key reasons Nova Scotians are struggling to find a place to live is because long-term rental stock is disappearing into the short-term market? The Honourable Minister of Housing. Much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the question. Uh, the Honourable Member mentioned the three-year action plan, which we did just sign a short time ago. We will be investing in that $88 million, which will help thousands of households, Mr. Speaker, in this province. The province of Nova Scotia is investing another $70 million, uh, Mr. Speaker, as well, unmatched dollars, which will invest in even about 2,500 more uh, households right across this province and make uh, a number of priorities for affordable housing uh, to better serve Nova Scotians, Mr. Speaker, right across this province. We recognize the issue. The Premier alluded to a few minutes ago. We'll continue to work on it. There's lots of work to do. We're anxious to get started. 